Favorite Piano Adventures, Level 3A, 2nd Edition, pages 58 and 59. The song is Allegro in D Major by James Hook. Let me play it once, then we'll talk about all the details. <laughs> through the whole thing, uh, obviously there's some repeats, I'm not going to go over there and do all that, but you need to repeat the first page, and then you also need to repeat the second page. Um, the mordant, let's talk about that first, it's a new thing for a lot of people. Uh, the mordant symbol looks like a little squiggly with a line through it, not to be confused um, with a trill. And what a mordant is, is if you see a mordant over the note, that note is what, what I'm going to call the principal note, where you're going to basically hit the principal note, go down a note, and come back up. Now in this case, the mordant, um, the secondary note that we're going down to, is actually a sharp note because of the key signature we're in. So instead of going D, C, D, we're going to be hitting the sharp, D, C sharp, D. But you need to play it quickly on the beat, so like that. So as I'm playing it, that's how we play a mordant. Uh, don't go, it just won't sound right. And as you, if you look at an example, they write them as 16th notes um, in that little abridged example at the bottom, bottom of page 58. So if I play that last bar again, that's how we do it. Uh, and make sure that when you hit that, a lot of people sometimes they'll be doing the mordant and instead of hitting that last note and holding it, they'll go, don't do that. Hold it. That's why they have it uh, tied in the example at the bottom of the page. Okay, so they're saying pattern repetition um, on this uh, first bar, and they also do it in the first bar of page 59. What they're just saying is you're playing a pattern, and you're repeating it back to back, and the same thing over here. Same pattern, just repeating. You're also going to be doing that again um, on measure 5 and 6 on the first page. And uh, <clears throat> you're also going to be repeating some parts as you go through. They have another pattern of repetition on measures 13 and 14 on page 59. Um, other than that, uh, you've heard the piece. Do it bar by bar and focus on playing slowly at first. Watch out for all your sharps. So there's one. There it is again. So you're going to be running across F sharp in your left hand a decent amount of times and C sharp in your right hand a decent amount of times. Um, so watch out for those. Uh, if it sounds weird, you might be missing the sharp. Other than that, uh, when you finish the song, try to throw in the uh, Ritzardondo, the... You know, try to slow it down just a little bit when you uh, move up into that, that mordant at the end. So we have a mordant at the bottom at the end of both pages. Try to get those mordants in there. Before you try to squeeze it in with the music though, just play it without the mordant. It's fine. And when you think you're good at the piece, then try to do it. And just practice the measure that you're trying to do the mordant. Don't, don't uh, play through the song and then hopefully try to squeeze it in. Just practice that measure. Oops, messed up. Okay, cool, got it. And just focus on that spot. Don't, don't uh, start at the beginning every single time you make a mistake. Focus on the spots you're trying to fix. Okay. Hopefully that uh, gives you enough information to finish Allegro on D major. Good luck.